Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 131 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom full width background. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a viewer request on how to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a blank document open in the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium. And once you have that set up, the first thing I want you to do is actually to extend the width of your page. So go ahead and put your cursor over the edge of the right side of your vertical line for your web page and we're going to drag that to be a much wider width. Okay. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that our pattern looks closer to what we're going to see in our preview mode. Okay. So once you have something similar to the width of my web page, we're going to next go to the page and layer gallery. And I'm going to go ahead and lock that panel by clicking the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner. And we're going to expand our page so that we can see the layers. And we're going to select the pasteboard background. And the reason you'll know that you have that selected is because you'll see the blue background behind it. And once you have that selected, we're going to go ahead and click on the unlock tab here for the, the unlock button. And if you left click that, you'll see that it doesn't any longer show as red, but shows as like a grayish blue um, unlock icon so that's how you know that layer is unlocked so after you have that let's go ahead and go to our toolbar here and select the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle in our workspace and we're going to expand this rectangle to the full width of this page okay so it should be aligned with the vertical lines for our web page and then we're going to right click on it and we're going to choose fill browser width and then go to file preview web page And once you do that, you'll see that this black rectangle expands the full width of our web page. So that's one way that you can create a custom full width background. So let's go ahead and close this out. And now we're going to go to our toolbar and we're going to select the gradient tool. And we're going to left click and drag to the right on top of this uh, rectangle. And then I want you to select the starting node for this rectangle. And then hit Control E to bring up our color editor. And we're going to give it a different color. And then we're going to select the endpoint of our uh, node here for this rectangle and give it another different color. And once you set the colors that you want, let's go ahead and close out the color editor and then go to File, Preview Web Page. And you'll see that it starts with one color and fades into another color for our full width background. So now you know how to create a gradient based uh, full width background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a custom pattern using rectangles. So in your toolbar, select the rectangle tool and then we're going to draw our first rectangle. Now you'll notice that it picks up the pattern that we created from our previous rectangle so we need to go to the gradient tool again and then we're going to set this as a flat fill so that it has one solid color. And once you do that we're going to copy that rectangle by hitting control C and then hitting control shift V to paste the copy on top. Select your selection tool and drag it to the right and line it up with that rectangle. Then hit control E and we're going to change the color for that rectangle and now we have two separate colors that are going to repeat from left to right um, for a full width browser so in order to set that up we have to select this other rectangle and hold down the shift key so that we have both selected and then hit control G to group those together and then copy that group by hitting control C and then paste an exact copy on top by hitting control shift V and then dragging that to the right and we're going to line that up so that these two groups are lined up together and then we're going to hold down the shift key and select that first group hit control G and now both of these groups are grouped together the next thing we want to do is actually stretch this group so that it aligns itself with the full width of this web page and once you have it lined with the vertical lines on each part of this web page we're going to then right click on it and then choose fill browser width and then go to file preview web page and you'll see that this pattern repeats from left to right alternating between those two rectangles. So now you know how to create a custom pattern using rectangles as a way to alternate. Okay, now you could use multiple rectangles. You don't have to use just two. If you wanted to, you could use eight rectangles or 20 rectangles, whatever you want to use. You can use it as a full width background as long as it's grouped together as one object. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to create a full width background using a custom seamless pattern that's a lot more complex. Maybe you got it off a website or maybe you created a custom seamless pattern and you want to use it as a full width background. Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab that image off my computer and drag it into my workspace. And we're going to use it as a full width background. 
So first thing I'm going to do is align it with the left edge of our web page, then hit Control C, and then Control Shift V to paste the copy on top, and align it to the right of that object. And then I'm going to select the first rectangle and hit Control G to group it together. And then I'm going to copy this by hitting Control C, then Control Shift V to paste another copy on top. And then I'm going to drag that to the right of it. And then I'm going to select the first group again, Control G to group both groups together. And then we're going to expand this to the full width of this web page. And then we're going to right click on it and choose Fill Browser With. And hopefully you're noticing the pattern by now of how to do this. But if you don't understand, just leave me a message and I'll do my best to help you. So let's go ahead and go to File and then choose Preview Web Page. And you'll see that this pattern repeats left and right. And this is a much more complex pattern, but it's a seamless pattern, so it's going to automatically repeat properly as long as you align the rectangles where they should be at. So now you know how to create custom full width backgrounds using seamless patterns, using alternations with the uh, rectangles, and also using gradients or a solid rectangle color. So I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to do so, and if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos on the XAR software. Have a great day.